Today's video is a special video I'm making for Caleb Tucker of Caleb Tucker Airsoft. The reason for that is <coughs> I am selling my Milson Labs rocket launcher. Now, I have videos that I've done on this before, even some shooting tests and whatever. What you get when you buy this Milsim Labs uh, kit is you get the sight with the flip up sights, as you can see. Okay. You get this bar, the sights. You get this handle, you get the bar, you get the back piece. What you have to buy is all the bolts. Okay, and you also get this flange for the back. What you have to buy is all the bolts, which, and glue this on, springs, the whole nine yards. You're, you got to supply that yourself. Now, this is a little bit more custom made. I put this uh, cap on here, on the end here, flange, put a sling on it so I can put it over my shoulder, and I put this butt pad on here just to grip my shoulder a little bit better. Also, instead of pins, uh, I used the bolts up here, but I actually used only a bolt here, and I used a pull pin here, and the safety pin as well. He uh, recommends bolts, but I didn't do that. So, I'm going to be selling this to him with an included uh, grenade that I like to use for this one. And I'll show you the grenade. It is a Mad Bull high capacity shell. Now we're going to turn the camera and face it tight here so I'm going to show the proper loading procedure for the uh, launcher. Um, then we're going to go do a quick shoot test so you get, a guy, you get an idea of what it sounds like and then what it does when it's shooting out. Okay, I'm primarily focused on the end here. We're going to get to the shell in a minute uh, but we're primarily focused on the end here because I want to show this. Okay. I've done a couple of tweaks on this, like putting screws and various things and like that. And I have this tie on here so I don't lose the pins. But what you do is, and I'll show this by putting all the pins in. This is the main pin. Get out of the video and I'll actually do it. This is the main pin that holds the body in place. Now, with it, nothing in there, it's kind of loose. But when you do get the grenade in there, it is tight. Now, there is a hole right here, okay, that is for the safety. Okay, so you can go right here, right there, I'm sorry. That's the hole right there for the safety. It's the one farthest back. There are two holes. That's the original hole he put in there. This is the hole that I put in there for the pin. So now we have the safety on, and as you can see, the trigger... I can't pull the trigger. So, proper loading for this weapon. Okay, I'm trying to get it in frame here. I'm moving it around until I get it in frame. Pull the pin. What you would do is you would take out your expelled grenade, put in your new grenade, load it with BBs, close this up. Now, the gotcha on this, because it's a, it's, it's a little tight, I always stand this up and push down on this a little bit and this goes right in and holds. That gives you an awesome hold against the shell and this don't move. Okay. Then when you're ready to fire, you pull the safety and because it's on the same pin you can just pull it let it go, it's out of the way. Then you're able to fire and it's pressing the button there. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to show the proper procedure for loading up a shell. I'm going to put the safety back in right here okay which I have the safety back in and we're gonna move on to the shell now I'm gonna zoom a little bit this Mad Bull shell okay is an old shell I mean I have had this for no lie 10 years maybe 12 years okay has my name scraped on it but he can do whatever he wants with that fill valve is right there the thing with these shells okay they don't reset properly so what I have is I, I pick up like a small Phillips or whatever and what you gotta do is you gotta press this down until it clicks and resets and I hopefully you can hear this on camera did you hear that click that means it reset now all you do is just put this in the center of that hole and let that piece come out 
See, I'm going to try to get on camera so I can show you that. Oh, but not I'm I trying to do it. There. And it's flush. Okay? Sometimes you reset it and you can loosen the grenade up and put it, and put it back together. Okay? I don't recommend that because there's ball bearings inside here. Well, if you take it apart and lose those ball bearings, then you're looking for ball bearings. Now, I did buy extra ones from uh, Granger. They're the same size. I bought a bag of 100, and I've been giving them out over the years to replace and fix grenades. Okay, now the next step on this is take your gas, green gas, whatever, two seconds. 1,001, 1,002. That's a lot of gas. Now, you can go more, it can go less. Um, I found that two seconds is just about good. So, let's just say we have this loaded up with our, our BBs. We put this in here. Put this, I'm going to zoom back out again. Put the pin back in to hold the frame on. This is now ready to fire. We pull the safety, okay, and we pull the trigger. There you go. I hope that translated a video. That is noisy as hell. And go over the procedure again for for like reloading it. I put I do the safety first thing so it's in there. Then I pull the pin. Then you take the grenade out. Now if you have a couple grenades, you can just keep stuffing the grenades in there and do whatever you want on this. So I'm gonna change I'm gonna do a little bit different this time, and I'm gonna show fill in the grenade and my opinion on filling the grenade and how we're going to do some shooting then. Okay. I have always done, I load the gas after the ammo's in there. Okay. I always thought that, like, if I put the ammo in there and then I put this here and I'm pushing stuff down here and if there's something that might push a little on this and set it off, this will be going off in my face. So I always put the gas in after the ammo is loaded. That's just my procedure, but anybody can do it any way they want. Now, I'm going to show you the proper look. I'm going to load this. This is just, let's try the unscrew part and see if that works right. See, there's this comes off from the top and it comes off from the bottom as well. See, it starts to come back. Then I can just flip it to where it's got to be and then tighten it up again. Okay? I don't like doing that because if you don't get it, you're moving the seals back and forth. Alright? Alright. So, what's nice about this is you fill some BBs up. Put in how many you want. There you go. That's Now, that's a good amount that I put in there. So let's see how many they were. So, right there was Three, there's six, eight, ten, twelve, there's twelve, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six, thirty-eight, forty. There's forty-two, forty. 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. There's 42, 43, 4, 5, 6, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So there's 60 BBs that I put in there in one shot. Okay, that's what I put in. And it was like three quarters of the way from the top. All right, so what we're going to do is I don't want to have to try to pick these up. But no one, yeah, there goes one on the floor. I knew that was going to happen. And there's a couple on the floor again. Uh, I got them. Matter of fact, I got enough BBs on the floor now. I want to clean them up as I get them because they'd be all over the place. Anyway, there are two ways to do this. They make a special cap for this in two colors. They make one in black and in red. 
and they just push on there and you're able to shoot the BBs. Of course you lose these and you gotta buy new ones. Now that's all I have left. Okay, so I'm gonna include this with him. Alright. But what you can do is also take a, a paper towel. This is a like half sheet, okay? And I'm gonna rip off a quarter. That's about yeah, a quarter. So that's a quarter that we ripped. Now I'm going to take that quarter and rip it in half again. Alright? I'm even going to use the smaller side. Now, put it over the hole and start stuffing. And push it down until it's tight against the BBs. And look, they don't come out. I, that's why I left the BBs down there. It's hard to see, but they're down there. If you can see, it's down there a little ways. I left the BBs down there, and even leaving them down there, that's 60 BBs. I think you can get 80 BBs here if you use one of those caps. But I've had those caps pop off, and then the BBs are all over the place. With this, it's twofold. One, everybody's got a paper towel, tissue. Tissues don't work the best because they're kind of soft and they come apart. But paper towels, you pank them, tamp them down there, they're solid. And what this does then is this fires out and it's biodegradable because it goes away. Okay, so that is one way, another way to load the shell. Okay, with what I call a quarter patch of a paper towel. These shells, now I'm going to probably do a little shooting just to show stuff. And then we're going to show other loading of this as well. I should have showed it on video. I wanted to unload the shells so I could start filming something else. I should have showed you the unloading procedure. Just took a pair of needle nose, pulled out the patch, and you can expand this out, this quarter paper towel, leave it flat. That's the next patch that you can use, and it's still good to be used again. These shells were originally made for paintball, and I'll show you why. I have, in this can, practice paintballs and they actually take one two three four practice paintballs and they're tight enough they don't well they do come out if you really bang on them a little bit let's see yeah there they go but they were made for practice paintballs my advice don't shoot anybody with these practice paintballs they will be upset because they're 6.68 millimeter, they're like a little over <coughs> half an inch and heavy, they're spongy, but that would hurt like a son of a gun. So I would not shoot that with somebody. Now, something we're going to test with these grenades is I bought these caps. These are from uh, Evite. I bought these a long time ago. These have like a rubber top with a hollow in the middle and they're made to be shot out of uh, grenade launchers. But what I saw is if I fill this with BBs and I put this on right here like this and push this up in there, it, ac it actually holds the BBs. Well, it might not hold the BBs, but anyway, it, it, got, it has a good seal on there and it'd be a good seal in the grenade launcher. It might shoot out there quite a ways. So what we're going to do is we're going to test this by itself. We're going to test it with BBs. We're going to test various other things just to see. And uh, hopefully we get some good sh pictures of uh, me shooting. And we'll have a good time with it. I thought I'd show that too. I have loaded the shell back up. And there's the wad in there if you want to see. There's a wad in there with BBs. Okay. What I do is turn the shell upside down. Thousand one, thousand two. Okay, two seconds of gas. That is armed and ready to go with 60 BBs. I just poured the 60 BBs right back in there. We are using 2.0 Bulldog biodegradable BBs today. I recommend at least 2.0s. Maybe my one friend, he uses .12s in his, but they're like scattershot. They go all over the place. 2.0s, at least you get a little bit more consistency, I think, in my opinion. 
and unless you want to waste them you could use two fives but I've always used two O's and I never had a problem with it so we're gonna go out and start shooting some stuff okay um, I'm outside now beautiful day and uh, October and it's like 78 it's hilarious anyway I've got my rocket launcher got my shell okay we're gonna show you the procedure for loading this okay basically you pull your back pin again flips down put your shell in now I am primed with gas so I don't have to worry about that and this is what I was telling you about you might have to put some pressure on it so I can what I do is I push it against my stomach and the pin goes right in and it's ready to fire now the safety is still in right there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the safety we're ready to fire and we do have BBs in here you'll hear the sound I'm shooting at a target only 65 feet away well it's actually about maybe 70 feet away with me being back from the line and we're just going to be shooting BBs then I'm going to turn the camera around and we're going to see it shooting okay I'm actually going to put up the sights and use the one sight okay I scared the deer back beyond there but uh, they didn't go too far I, the wind is blowing a little bit. I don't know. I've knocked it down. I'm going to go with three seconds of gas, and we're going to try it again, and I'm going to face the camera that way. Okay, that's my target. I have three seconds of gas now in this. I'm at 70 feet. Sort of dropping. I might try four seconds of gas. Of course, the shooting range like up by the prison has decided to go crazy shooting but that's okay okay we're on four seconds of gas and firing okay that's the magic number four seconds of gas and I want to show something that popped out right there so once the BBs hit the air they popped up so technically I could retrieve that and use it again okay I had to turn this around I'm using two seconds of gas in the shell no BB's but I'm using that cap that black cap I showed it won't go in this way but it fits very nicely in here I put it through the top and then I use the jam rod it, it only goes so far it hits this uh, bridge right here and it stops so it is a little ways away from the shell and it's ready to fire uh, I want to see with two seconds of gas see how it goes okay I'm gonna leave it a distance to like I don't want to zoom it in I want to see how it's you know where you can see. okay I was filming and right as I was filming the battery died on my other video camera so I'm filming the rest with my phone I'm just gonna shoot this so we get an idea of what it looks like with this hopefully the Sun is right in the in the lens so hopefully you'll be able to see where it goes so firing Wow, uh, I actually pulled down, and that's where I shot, where I aimed down. You have to hard aim, because it's a really good pull with that one. But it actually worked really nice. I'm going to try and see if I can retrieve it. Okay, they're shooting again, but uh, we're going to try one last test. This is with that black cap. I didn't find the last one. I had to put another one in, but also with BBs in there. And four seconds of gas. So let's see how we're doing, and I'm going to try to hold a little bit better on the target okay I see it didn't go as far as I thought all the extra weight didn't really push it out as much I, I charge up the camera just a little bit so I can finish this video up so here's the rocket launcher okay shells inside there I just wanted to show that of the three or of the four shots that I shot with the quarters of paper towel I got two back so I technically could reuse those again on the field if I had to what I'm going to include for Caleb Tucker is some of these caps that he if he wants to use them they're quick connects these black plastic like uh, projectiles and half a bag of these uh, paintball rubber paintball practice paintballs uh, 
use at your own discretion because you shoot somebody with them they might get really pissed at you. Uh, but this is going to go out in the mail to him pretty soon and hopefully he has a good time with it. I think as a grenade launcher with the shell less is more. Instead of putting 60 in you put 30 in they're going to really reach out because they're coming from down here and they have all this barrel to stay together. So it'll be a tight formation coming out of there and out. And I think you might get a little bit more range with less BBs. Uh, other shells you can try, pick up some other shells. Uh, he said he's going to be buying all my grenade launchers, so I'm going to be giving him a grenade with every launcher. So he'll have a bunch of shells when he's finally done. So uh, this is Keeper. I'm glad that you watched the video, and I hope you're having a nice day. I'm going to go back out in the sun myself. And as always, you have a good one. Oh, that's not right. No.